Weibo is a very loosely defined term, but if you're browsing to the internet, according to Rule 44, every one positive comment about Japanese things can make you a Weibo. So if you say anything positive about a PS4, that will automatically make you a Weibo. Say anything positive about Nintendo, that will automatically make you a Weibo. In that case, almost all of us are Weibos, and we're all gonna end up fapping to anime girls anyway, so I guess take that for what you will. And honestly, what's the point? It's just a really petty insult. It's just a way for people who are, or at least claim to be, productive members of society to shame people who simply enjoy animes. Now, am I butthurt that I got called a weebu? Well, not really. I'm just a bit baffled on why would you want to put your time and effort on calling me that. I mean, if you really are productive members of society, you wouldn't waste your time in the comment section of an anti-censorship video nonetheless, defending censorship of anime tits. Seriously, just check out the comment section of my second Tokyo Mirage Citizen's FE video. There are people who are so passionate on defending censorship that they took out quite a lot of space in the comment section, replying to others, shaming them for liking anime tits, and manipulate their arguments in a way that suits them. And this brings me to my first point. I'm just a sweet transvestite of... I never thought that there are people who are pro-censorship of anime titties because they find these things uncomfortable. To that I say, bull, shit, you love anime titties, I can show you these pictures and your dick will be as hard as Lady Liberty's torch, I can show you this picture and your pussies will soak liquids like Niagara, there is no shame in enjoying these things guys and girls, that means your reproductive organs function and behave normally, I mean if they're going on for censorship, why not go all the way? Why don't we just put in burkas to everybody? Why don't we censor people who play beach volleyballs because they don't wear burkas? Huh. I guess I should add that to the list. I'm just a sweet transvestite of... And they have the balls to say that we're the most unproductive members of society. Yeah, and tell me, what do you do on my videos again? You spent hours clickety-clacking on my anti-censorship videos, replying to people and defending censorship that cost like hundreds and hundreds of comments. I just want to ask these people who spam on my videos with pro-censorship rhetorics, if you have all that time to reply to all these people to defend censorship in a video about anti censorship why don't you start making videos how about you stop doing all of those pointless clickety clacking and start producing actual content for people to watch and enjoy at least you sound a lot more genuine at least you can sound like a human being and not just clever bot trying to be simon cowell at least you can turn on adsense and make money off of it you know something actually productive seriously what good will come off of arguing with morons on the comment section. The last time I argued with morons on the comment section, my brain hurt so much, I'm very sure 9gag was my college professor. The last time I make videos on the internet, I got 5,500 plus subscribers, tons of people who watch my videos, I got better at video editing, and... I got a new phone. So the true unproductive members of society here are people who are insulting others for not being productive members of society in the comment section of YouTube nonetheless. They claim their moral high ground so high they slipped off of their ivory tower and crashed land head first into a nearby landfill. At least taking your waifus into a date would bring a smile to your face. And then you have someone like this guy, who says, Weeboos use every single argument to make sure their anime titties are uncensored. Why can't they just be more focused on more important things, like actual real-life censorship? First of all, you may have heard of the UN. They're like the biggest organization in the entire world. They contributed a lot to the society. And you know the first thing that they did to help poor women from getting sexually abused? Ban those filthy animes! I really wish I was kidding. I don't give a shit about how pathetic you think we are. The UN thinks that the best way to help women victims in need is to ban those filthy Japanese animes. 
So if you're going to straight to my face, then I should focus more on even more important things. Don't tell that to me. I'm a YouTuber who makes shit videos. You go tell that to the UN. Tell them that what they're doing is freaking stupid. Which I did. Weibo and Fujoshis, if you got shame for jerking off to anime girls and boys, just so you know, at least you're not the UN. I'm just a sweet transvestite of... Now don't get me wrong, Weeboos are not in any forms of way innocent. They can be guilty, they can be total pricks, they can be total dicks, but if there's one thing that I'm certain about Weeboos is that they don't condemn other weebs for not enjoying their waifus. I'm just a sweet transvestite of... We're back to the Mary Sue once again. Remember that segment in my last video about them where I address one of their hypocrisies? Rainbow Mika is horrible and deplorable but hot Ryu? Oh my god! Oh my god! It would be horrendous that I didn't give a follow-up to that because the Mary Sue ended up defending one of their hypocrisies. That's right, they downright defend the fact that they're being a hypocrite. How are those Alexa ratings work out to you again? Anyway, the article is The Hot Ryu Meme, Sexiness versus Sexual Objectification. It seems like every Mary Sue article that I come up with has to do with sexiness and objectification. You know what? Screw it. I'm reading a Mary Sue article, and I don't want your right hand to get into a nearby coat hook. You know what that means? First, let's talk about sexiness. Where do attractiveness standards come from? Where do attractiveness standards come from? That has got to be one of the dumbest question that I have ever encountered in my entire life. I... Next, next paragraph. It seems to me like society has a firm opinion as to what sexy video game women should like, whereas opinions on sexy video game men seem more complex. Yeah, and who to blame for that? Who to blame for women's bizarre standards of what they consider attractive? Hmm? Hmm? You read the Mary Sue, so I don't need to explain to you that we live in a patriarchal society. I, I want to purge those out of your mind, so here's a little bit of lesbian love. It's also good to remember that some of our ideas about sexiness when it comes to female bodies are, unfortunately, inspired by sexual objectification in the media. I I'm sorry, what? I'm gonna remove some of the words to get to the point that she's saying here. Our ideas about sexiness are inspired by sexual objectification in the media. That's right. Your standards of what you consider sexy is only formed in the media. Wow! I should have seen it coming. I should have read the signs. I'm not saying anyone is bad for liking what's considered to be a conventionally attractive female form. No, you're not. Except when you are. Almost instantly, Hot Ryu become a boyfriend character. It wasn't just that people thought his beard was cute, although they sure did. It was that he instantly got personified in a particular way. His physical appearance becomes secondary to the meme almost instantly, in spite of being the element that had theoretically kicked it off. I would guess that this is due to the fact that women and queer people already are used to framing personality as core to sexiness. Women and queer people already used of framing personality as core and more important than mere sexiness and it's a fact except when it wasn't we women and queer people care more about personality than sexiness except when we don't almost instantly hot ryu became my husband though of boobs without contextualizing them as belonging to a consenting person or even contextualizing them as a part of a human body doing regular human stuff, example breastfeeding, can lead people to develop internalized body image issues, not to mention that it can lead to an inability to enjoy sex. It's not empowering to present bodies in this fashion, it's the opposite of empowering because it removes agency for the person to whom those body parts are attached. Because fictional characters rendered in 3D pixels have agency of their own. 
because they have a vagina and therefore they have agency like real life women what you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things i have ever heard the weirdest thing is they have a citation on this a citation that proves that female objectification is bad i'm interested let's find out problem Women's bare bodies are on display in billboards, movie posters, and many other kinds of ads. Though plenty of studies have looked at the ramifications of this pervasive sexual objectification, it is unclear if we see near-naked people as human beings, or if we really do view them as mere objects. Because pictures of women is the same thing as real-life women. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought? The insanity doesn't stop there. Methodology. Researchers presented participants of pictures of men and women in sexualized poses, wearing a swimsuit or underwear, one by one in a computer screen. Since pictures of people present a recognition problem when they turn upside down, but images of objects don't have that problem. Some of the photos were presented right side up and others upside down. And after each picture, there was a second of black screen before each participant was shown two images and was asked to choose the one that matched the one he or she had just seen. That's right. They have to arbitrarily manipulate the pictures so that your unconscious reflex reaction to every picture being shown prove that you are objectifying women. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. Results. The male and female subjects match the photos similarly. They recognize right side up men better than upside down men, suggesting that they saw the sexualized men as persons. On the contrary, the women in underwear weren't any harder to recognize when they appear upside down, indicating that the sexy women were consistently identified as objects. I. I. How. How. How? How would I? I. Conclusion: People objectify women in sexualized photos, but not men. Asterisk: These conclusions were taken out of our asses through deliberate manipulation of our test subjects to fit our required hypothesis that women are treated as objects more than men. I I can't. I. I I can't even... I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. <sighs> this study gives me brain tumor. And I'm an 18-year-old in my first semester. The fact that people are willing to spend money to fund these studies is downright astonishing. I'm just a sweet transvestite It is okay to have a crush on fictional video game character. It is okay to find that character sexy. It is okay to write reams of fanfiction about them. It is more than just okay. After all of that, you have to end this article with this. It is okay to find a character sexy, except when it isn't, and we're gonna be the arbiter of morality to that, you fucking sexist. <laughs> The mainstream media, like the Mary Sue, has started to become less and less relevant as time went on, and for a good reason. The site has been spewing nothing but garbage after garbage articles, and cite a study that is so monstrously wrong, it gave me brain tumor. As someone who makes YouTube videos, one of the things that I have to do is to make my content as enjoyable as possible, and let people to enjoy whatever kind of thing that people love to enjoy. But then we have people like the Mary Sue, who has to police to what people can or cannot enjoy. They criticize anime fans for being pathetic weeboos who jerk off into their anime porn, but would also take a daring step to wet their Cal Drogo panties in their Poe Dameron Dakimakuras. If you want this in full action, watch my last video. Now, whatever Kenji says about feminist infiltration is actually sort of true. We are living in a society where feminists have taken over the world, and these feminists tend to have some horrendous double standards. Men who objectify women are just the most horrible human beings that has ever existed in the entirety of mankind. But look at these Olympic bulges! Oh my god!
let's be real here, guys. The absolute winner of the most pathetic human beings in the existence, worse than Weeboos in general, is none other than Vice Magazine. Lewd pictures of Jennifer Lawrence during the fappening is like horrendous, it's awful, dreadful, horrifying, it's creating new layers of lewdness. But guys, we're going to conduct a serious investigation. This investigation will revolutionize modern journalism. I'm just a sweet transvestite of...